Hello. How are you today? Hi, mister, how are you? I'm doing okay, thank you. Doing okay. Almost the year is over. Yeah. Literally, the year is almost over. Yeah, very fast. Yeah, we have what? Uh, 20 days left. 20 yeah. days left, that's nothing. Yeah, that's true, that's true. That's nothing. Um, and I hope that um, nothing serious happens uh, at the end of the year, you know. Yeah. So yeah. 2020 has been uh, really bad for many families, so. Yes, definitely. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so welcome back. Thank you for making the space of being here on a Friday. What is today's date? What's today's date? November 11th. November? 11th. November, you sure? Uh, December, <laughs> December. December 11th. Uh, 2020. Exactly, exactly. Yes, it's December 11th, 2020. That is correct. Good. Um, do you guys remember the topics that we covered uh, yesterday? Do you? Do you, do you? <laughs> I guess not, I guess not. Okay, so what do you guys usually do on a Friday night at this time? In my case, I'm staying home, stay home. You stay home, okay. What about you, yeah. Arnaldo? Uh, the same, I just stay home and I rest. Good. Ovidio, what do you usually do on a Friday night at this time? Uh, this time I usually uh, watch some some videos of okay. music. You go to sleep late, Ovidio? Uh, yes, I, I go to sleep late. What is late for you? Uh, uh, 10 p.m. or 10 Ten and a half. Okay, half past ten. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ten p.m. is acceptable. Even ten thirty is acceptable. I think eleven and after uh, is late. Eleven okay. and after is late. Okay. All right. So welcome back. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I work Saturday mornings, the whole morning from seven to 12. And usually okay. I'm preparing material uh, Fridays. Friday night, yeah. but usually uh, I wake up Saturday, like about four in the morning. Wow. So, I, so I can prepare everything for the class, but luckily I finished everything this afternoon. So when I finish your class, I'm going to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you, have class, you have classes tomorrow. Yeah, 7 to 12. 7 to 12. But, but also uh, uh, online? No, face to face. Ah, okay. Yeah. But uh, let's say like if the room has space for 30 people, they don't have 30 people. They only have 
half of it, you know, because the school desk, they have been protected like with a special uh -huh. window. So, uh, yeah. so it's, it's less space now. Yep. Yeah, around of, of 15. Yeah, I, I have 20 to be exact. Okay. okay. Right, right. So that's, uh, that's how it is. So, and, and that is the only class that I have face to face, you know, all the other classes, they're um, online. They're online. Okay, so. Okay. Versabe. Good evening, teacher. Sorry, I am delayed. Uh, Don't worry. But <laughs> thank Don't you. Don't worry, teacher. you are here. You are here, and that counts a lot. Yes. Okay, yes, so yeah. let's give a few more minutes to the one that are still coming. Uh, I will connect you to work in pairs and talk about the plans that you have programmed for this uh, weekend. So you use, uh, excuse me, simple future, future continuous, future perfect, and all those that you are already familiar with. So let's begin. It's loading. Uh, home too and that's the reason because I am feeling a little mm -hmm. tired and uh, I feel drowsy <laughs> okay I always I always hearing you you are smiling <laughs> no I, I'm, I'm happy because mm -hmm. it's my only opportunity to to be with uh, friends because I don't have time to to go to yeah. a meeting or to go to a party or something like like this and yeah. I, I I am very happy to talk with with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay about your plans, uh, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, do you want to start or me? <laughs> what do you prefer? Okay. okay. In my case, I haven't think about it yet. I have no ah, idea. Okay. <laughs> I yeah, I haven't think about it. What I'm going to do this weekend. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, that, that true. The true. I don't have any any plans yet. Okay. Do you like to to watch a series or Netflix? Um. Um. Oh, a, a very good movie. Uh, I can yeah. suggest some 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 of them because I love to watch uh, uh, TV uh, movies. Uh, um, yes, movies and Netflix, yeah. especially. Okay, which, which movie? Uh, there is one uh, called, um, how to say, I, I, for, I forgot, I, for, I forgot the, the, the name, but let me check. Uh, uh, during during our conversation, I will remember the the, <laughs> the name. It's a it's about a girl that was the first pilot in in, in India, and she suffered a lot of discrimination for the for the men. <laughs> and it's it's a a bi biography by a biography uh, movie. Very very nice. Believe me. Very good. Uh, I, I will I will put the, in the WhatsApp the name if I don't remember right now. <laughs> All right. Okay, for me, yeah, I think I need to to rest the the whole yes. weekend <laughs> because <laughs> because the whole week is very. Very busy for you. Very busy. Uh, we are preparing the budget 
for the next year. Oh. And, and I don't have time in my office to, to do another thing, just yes. budget. Yes, it's, it's very uh, difficult and you need to take care of the numbers that you yes. put in your budget. <laughs> yes. Uh, and the explanation for what in in what in what thing I I I will invert the whole yes. money. <laughs> mm. yeah. Invest, invest. Yeah, yes. Invertir, uh -huh. invest. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, very mm -hmm. wow. A, a yeah. difficult decision for you this week, this year, sorry, to, yeah. for the next this, week. Okay. Mm -hmm. the, no. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, nice. I, I actually, I haven't heard about that, but uh, it sounds interesting. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know how to explain. I, I I know about Lean Six Sigma uh, because of my career. In in my career, we studied in 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 the part of quality. Okay. But yes, it's 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 a quality tool, but um, you use um, for uh, do I don't know how to explain it, but. The thing is, then you found some issues in any place. In, in, in this case, in, in my job, in all the environment. And with, with that information, we do a research and we try to find out, first of all, which problems are the best to solve using that tool. After that, you do another research, you um, collect some data, and you try to create, um, how do you say, you create a plan to solve your problem. Ah, oh, okay, yes. Basically, it's that, basically. But, but with, okay. with, the, with the research, you try to find out, um, you use statical tools because you you try to find out if, if the how they say i can remember the word which word um curva normal normal because curve? we try to normal curve. i think it, it is because we try to find out if some process are normal process or are not in in in, in spanish is anormal yeah normal yeah abnormal abnormal yeah okay. you need to say it with a b abnormal a -B. abnormal thank you okay yeah yeah it's 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 uh, that's that's why you you do a research. In I love to cook, but I don't have enough time to to cook. A special a special a plates, and uh, let me see another another thing. Probably I will buy some um, how I say adornos. Oh, or Christmas, ornaments. Chris, ornaments. ornaments, ornaments, Christmas, Christmas ornaments to put and 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 the door, uh, the walls, and because I I I love this uh, time to decorate, to decorate. Yes, teacher. Yes, and that's that's all. Um, I think it, I think it's not a, a special weekend, but. I, I consider I need to rest a little and and stay with my my family. Okay. What about uh, another thing, uh, Ovidio or Eduardo? 
Anything? No. What, what movie uh, do you another... recommend me for, for uh, example, for, for tomorrow? Uh, okay, let me, let me remember the next gun. I, I I will I will put in I, I prefer uh, uh, write in the chat. Only okay. Eduardo and you will will know uh, because the the names are very rare. The the name of the pilot that I I I told you is yeah. is, okay. is the name rare. <laughs> okay. We have the, the question for the teacher. Uh, the, uh, Which question? Uh, how do you say capacitation in English? For me, it's training. Training. But training. Is, yeah. a, I, is another way to, to say that? No, training. Training is, is the, the most typical word yeah, uh, but, to express that. Yeah, but you also can say, you also can say capacitation. Um, Maybe the word exists, but people don't usually uh, okay. uh, use it, right? Use it, okay. Uh, honestly, I don't remember hearing that word. L let me see if you can use that word. Maybe. Remember that when you compare English and Spanish, 60% um, are cognates. Cognates, yes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it, the word exists, but it's uh, it, it has a different meaning. It's not related with training. It was training. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a medical term. Uh, medical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, medical term. So you cannot say uh, capacitation for if you want to say training. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Right. Thanks. We we learn something important for us. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Trading. Mm -hmm. okay. We have one more minute. <laughs> okay, then I will, I will, Hello, hello, welcome back. Um, any questions or comments about your plans for this weekend? No, teacher. No? It's okay. Okay, so now we go to our grammar section. Uh, we're going to be talking about clauses, stating reasons and conditions. So mm -hmm. let, me, let me find this. Um, information right here okay can you see my document yeah the general teacher yeah Okay, what is the name? Clauses stating reasons and conditions. All right, so what are clauses, even if considering, considering that, that, as long as, long as unless, unless, just in case, just in case or only if. if. Okay, so even if, volunteer to read the first part. Uh, me, teacher? Yes, please. Okay, 
even if introduces a condition that does not influence the main clause. Example, I sometimes do awake at night even if I'm really tired. Okay, thank you. So, I sometimes lie awake at night even if I'm tired. So, even your I'm eyes tired. are wide open, your body's tired, but your eyes are still open. So, even if. Uh, even if. Even if. Okay. How do you say even if in Spanish? Incluso si. Incluso. Uh -huh. Yep. Incluso si. Aún si. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Herbert, can you please read number two? Considering. Yes. Considering that introduces causes and reasons that explain the main clauses. Okay. For example, I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. Okay, thank you. So, uh, considering, like he says, introduces causes and reasons that explain the main one. So, the example says, I'm lucky to get six hours of sleep, considering that most people need eight. So, uh, that's how you use considering. Any mm -hmm. questions in with even if or considering that? No. no. Okay, number three, Ovidio, please read number three. Okay, as long as introduce a condition on which the main clause depends. Example, I can manage of five hours of sleep as long as I take a nap during the day. Okay, good, as long as. How do you say as long as in Spanish? As... Tan pronto como? Mm, not really. No, no. So, okay, I'm going to give you $20 today as long as you pay me back. Here are the $20 that you need. Mientras que? Siempre y cuando. Oh, okay. Siempre y cuando. Yeah. As long as, as long as. So I can manage on five hours of sleep as long as I take a nap during the day. So, ah, siempre y cuando tome una siesta exactly, durante el día. Exactly. Yes. So, as long as. So you said, look, uh, it's raining and we need to go to the bank. And then you tell the person, well, uh, we can go to the bank as long as we take a taxi. You know. Or I or I have an umbrella. <laughs> yeah, as long as you have an umbrella. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. Very as good. Long as, as long as. Okay. Now, how do you say unless in Spanish? A menos que. Uh huh. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let me see. Uh, Eduardo, can you please read that one? Okay. Unless introduces something that must happen in order to avoid a consequence. Uh huh. Unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, or even while driving. Ah, that's a little bit extreme. <laughs> yeah. Falling asleep while you're driving. Okay, so unless I get a good night's sleep, so that means that if this person gets a uh, good sleep during the night, mm -hmm. the, the, the compliment is not going to happen. So he cannot fall asleep at a school, at work, or even while driving, but he needs to get a good night's sleep. Now, do you guys usually get a good night uh, sleep? Do you? Maybe? Uh, I can say the, the second example. I'm lucky I can get Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, me too. Okay. You know, luckily, you know, God gives me some, uh, some good sleep every night. Every night. So uh, I was telling, I don't remember who I was telling, that I finish, uh, this class is the last one of the day, so I finish at 10 o'clock. So uh, 10.30, the latest, I'm gone. I'm asleep until the following day. So uh -huh. I usually wake up between 5 or 5.30 without any alarm, and I'm okay with that. Wow. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Me too, teacher. Me too. Yep. No, five, five o'clock. <laughs> yeah, and, and do you need an alarm to wake up at five o'clock? 
Mm, no, 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 no. I uh, right now it's a habit to to wake up early. <laughs> right. No, I don't need an alarm. Right, right, right. You know, even if it's a Sunday, even if it's vacation, my system has been programmed to uh, to get good sleep. Thank God. Thank God. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, just in case, who wants to read that one? Arnoldo, please. Just in case, introduce an undesirable uh -huh. circumstance that needs to be taken into account. Mm -hmm. I always set two alarms clock just in case one of them doesn't go off. Exactly. You know, and that's something that I do. Like if I have something extremely important to do the following day, I ask my wife, please put your alarm just in case uh, the one that I have doesn't work. You know, but just in case. Just in case. How do you say just in case in Spanish? Por si acaso. Por si acaso. Por si acaso. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. Uh -huh. Just in case. So imagine uh, you're going to the supermarket, you're going walking, and you see that the sky is a little bit dark. So you say to yourself, I'm going to take an umbrella just in case. Just in case it rains. Just in case. Just in case it rains. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. And what is the last one, Bersabe? Only if? Only if introduces a condition that must be met for the main clause to be true. Mm -hmm. Example, I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. Okay. Wow, lucky. Okay. <laughs> right. Yes. But this person doesn't work. <laughs> yes. Okay. So only. Uh, that's like a conditional uh, situation. Only if I have to go see my doctor, I don't have a breakfast. So that is the, the only condition mm -hmm. uh, not to be having a breakfast. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions yeah. or comments? No, very important topic, teacher. Okay, all right, good. So there you have it, those clauses, people use them all the time, mm -hmm. every day, all the time, even if, considering that, as long as, as, long as unless, unless, just, just in, case, in case, and only if. Okay. All right, questions or comments? No, no. it's no. good, only to study. Okay, all right, so let's go to our speaking section. Uh, we're going to be talking about this country. Some people like it, some people don't like it. Um, can you see the questions? Yeah. Yes. Okay, what is the topic? Uh, Doing a question. Country, USA. Yep. The USA, USA about USA history okay. country. Uh -huh. So let me send these questions to the WhatsApp chat. Thank you, teacher. I will create. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Recreate. Okay, go here, and here we go. Okay. Practice your fluency and your accuracy.
and that's it is we we have energy uh, to take decision to uh, how I say supportar to to uh, the the stand the heart stand stand yeah, to okay. stand to stand uh, this a uh, wave of of life in it go ahead Armando. okay <laughs> well i i don't know to be honest many things about the history about uh, usa but uh, something that i know is that uh, people from usa or generally they used to be uh, I don't want to be racist, 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 but they used to be black people, and uh, well, supposedly people who is living now is not. They are not the real uh, United States people. And only that. Yeah, that is true. You know, white man. He came as. Uh... He came as an immigrant many years ago, many years ago. So the real uh, Native American, um, we're talking about the Indians. They are the real Native people from the U.S. So the white, Indians. yeah, the, the Indians, the American Indians. So um, white man was an immigrant. White man was an immigrant. And the Indians are, are are the black no uh, well oh, they really? have they mm -hmm. have uh their color of the skin is dark but they're not black oh, okay yep yep so that's how it, it's true what arnoldo said is true you know white men were was just an immigrant yep. so the the real american is uh -huh. like is like us um native americans yeah yeah no we uh, yeah like 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 us like latino uh maybe yes some of them they look like latinos uh dark skin yes yeah uh -huh. mm -hmm. Stuff like yes that. i i don't like new york oh terrible oh. People don't like to have a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't like it. I, I think in a, a good place, a very quiet place to rest, to to to, to have a, a good moment. Uh, but I I I think this is the the, the state that I I like, the relaxed uh, time, not with without noise or 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 somebody that disturb me this is this is that i like it uh, and that, i think i i evocate i think it exists this world uh mm -hmm. united states a part of united states i think i don't know mm -hmm. for why <laughs> yes uh well you mentioned maybe some of the thing that we will answer for number two because oh, there's some see. because oh, there's bad yes things. yes i didn't read the the second question no. but you're right <laughs> yeah but it's okay i mean um that's what you think when you heard about okay. uh us but and you also do you agree think with me and, okay uh, 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 do you agree with me about oh, the, sure. the, my okay sure yes. sure i i i know I'm going to, I know three places in the United States. Mm -hmm. I know Los Angeles, and it's exactly how you say, uh, noisy with yes. a lot of people, uh, heavy traffic yes. and stuff like that. The other yes. place okay. that I know, it's Las Vegas. It's noisy, but there's not too much traffic. It's noisy because mm -hmm. the place supposed to be like that and uh, i didn't hear you the 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 second one that you mentioned you las mentioned vegas. Uh, ah, las vegas uh -huh. oh wow <laughs> the, the, i, I only don't in downtown, know it 
only in downtown it's a kind of heavy traffic kind of uh, not like los okay. angeles but there's okay. traffic and the other place that i know is uh, omaha nebraska and that place it's exactly oh. what you're looking for it's a quiet place ah oh, yes people oh. really really nice nice There's place no traffic it's yes. a, it's a perfect place it's beautiful, yes. beautiful exactly what you 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 want yes i like the quiet place and and probably i can uh, i see in movies uh this uh uh, uh, how you say ambiente? I don't remember. Excuse me. Environment. What? Yes, environment. Yes, this is the right right uh, word. The mm -hmm. the the environment of the oxygen, the the air, pure air, and I love it. I love it. And only I I. I miss the. Uh, I remember I wa I I was in San Francisco, but in a park very beautiful. Believe me, in in I I think the houses are uh, beautiful houses, and I I love I I wanted in that time to live there, but was it was difficult because I I live with my parents and they they can't uh, let me to to live there <laughs> well, well, okay it was well, it uh, impossible for me but okay it's okay no <laughs> yes well, yeah we have um another another person here janira hello ah, hello hello yes Hi, i am janira. just i am just <laughs> coming she's taking notes oh. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am only here because I am traveling right now. Oh, really? Oh, I, I am not at home and I have forgot the class. But you are not oh. driving. No, no, I am not driving, but I am traveling at this moment. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. So okay. you you are um, available to participate or you just want to hear? Yes, I can, yes, I can talk. What are you talking okay. about? About well, USA. To, uh -huh. Explain, explain. If you want to, to explain to, to Yanira, Herbert. Yeah, because about the, 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 the first question is what images spring to mind when you hear the country USA? Um, well, I never have visited the USA, but... For me, it's not a destiny. Okay, it's not traveling. important. Okay. For me, it's not a, an important destiny because really? I, I like other <laughs> places to visit. <laughs> no, I like I, more, more about cultures. Yeah, I, I no because I, I know uh, some stuff about Janira and and, and, <laughs> and I believe that may you you may like to to visit Utah. Yes. Oh, the, see? It is the only, it is the only, the ah. only state that I would like to visit. Ah, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> why, 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 Janira? Why because, do you want to visit Utah? Because Salt Lake City in Utah is the, the central of my church. And oh. I would like to visit Provo because there, oh. uh -huh, it, there are a uh, beautiful temple in Provo, Utah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, nice. It has a lot of meaning for me because it's, it's the history about my church. Mm -hmm. exactly. mm, nice. Testigos, yes, tes yes, testigos no. de Jehová. We, no. Uh, no. Which, which is the, no. Your, your, no, the I am a member of the, the, the Church of Jesus Christ. Uh, Mormones says yes, Mormones. Exactly. Okay, Mormones. Okay. Okay, good, Janita. But see, I I know <laughs> that there's there's a place that, yes. that you want to visit. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, excellent. 
Okay, about the second, the second one, what are the good things and bad things about the USA? Probably you, you know something bad or something uh, good. Hello, hello. Hi. Did you guys finish? Yeah. Yes. And no more talking, no more topics to speak about. Mm. <laughs> no for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Did you work today, Arnoldo? Uh, uh, well, I don't have a, a job, <laughs> actually. Oh. Okay. Yes, but actually, I just I tried to apply a, a call center, and I had a, an interview today. Oh, which call center? Uh, tell us International. Good, good, good. Are you yes. applying for any uh, account in particular? Uh, maybe I would like to be in customer service or technical support. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah, call centers, they usually have technical uh, support, uh, customer service, sales. Uh, so those are like the three main departments that they usually have. Yes. Right. And interested. Yes. Good, good, good. So, all right, let's go back to the main session. All right, welcome back. Um, any questions or comments about the USA? What does USA stand for? What's Sorry, the meaning I, of USA? United States of America. United States of America. That's an example of what? How do you say siglas in English? I'm trying to remember. Uh, acronym. 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 Right. Thank you. Yeah, so um, remember that acronyms are words that we use every day, but in that word, every letter represents something. So you said, Where is your brother? Oh, he's working in the USA. USA is a word, but every letter represents uh, uh, something. That's right? UK. Like UK, exactly. UK, yes. Yeah, UK, right. Have you guys ever been in Europe? Yes, teacher. You have? What country have you visited, Bersame? Spain, uh, Holland in Switzerland and Canada. Ah, no, only, only these three, three countries. Three teacher. countries, okay, good. And I imagine that you went for pleasure. Uh, yes, teacher, uh, because my mom wants to, to, to go to these countries and, and we, we traveled two years ago with her. Oh, recent. Yes, yes, teacher, before, bef uh, before uh, COVID-19 right, right. was a, yes. Yeah, when life was normal. Yes, yeah. very good, yes. Right, okay. So I hear that those countries are very expensive to visit. Yes, yes. I need to, um, to save uh, a lot to prepare uh, the this the next trip, trip. Yeah. Uh, approximately three years before. Right, <sighs> right. Yes. True, true. 
I hear that uh, like the countries that you mentioned, like Switzerland, uh, a lunch can easily be twenty dollars or twenty five yes. dollars. Yes. So right. twenty five dollars, I can have lunch for maybe like ten days. <laughs> yes. Ah, and, and I visited France too, so, uh, teacher. Yes, okay. four countries. Yes, I. Sorry. How many it's, days were you there? Uh, 15, 15 years, 50 days in, in the four countries. Yes. Yes. And it's very exciting. Uh, the, yeah. the places that we visited, the Louvre, Louvre, uh, how is it? Louvre Museum. Muse the, the museum. The, yes. Uh, El the Louvre. Prado is the Louvre in yes, wow. Ah, amazing. It's beautiful. Yes, amazing. Okay. Sí, el, el Prado too in Spain. Oh okay. the Louvre is in is France, right? Uh, yes, yeah, it's in, it's in France. France, yes. Yes. Okay. Nice, nice good. places. Good, very good. All right, so let's do a listening activity. Uh it's less than a minute, it's real quick. Um like if, if, when you go to a theater, you know, there are different prices for the seats. Okay. Why are they different? Why do they have different prices? Uh, the place close, where do close, you... close uh -huh. to the platform, to the... Uh, yeah, like Ovidio was saying, the distance. Yeah, the place where you are sitting, right? Yeah, the place is, is there. If you have a, a nice view, a, a nice view, <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. Teacher. Yes, sir. How um, supposed to say like uh, palco? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it would be like VIP. I mean, that that's what I would say. Like, okay, let's go to the VIP section. But there must Box. be a word. Honestly, I don't know how to say palco. Box. Yeah, because I, I, I remember, uh, for example, uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh -huh. uh, he was uh, killed in, uh -huh. in, a, in, a, in a theater, exactly. but he was in, a, he was in that place yep. in the theater, but I, I can remember the word. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't, I don't know it either. You know, I've been in El Salvador a, a couple of years and every time I hear palco, say palco, palco. But I never thought about how to say that uh, 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 um, that word in English. I know there is a word, but mm -hmm. that, that's going to be my homework. <laughs> Thank okay. you. And I'll let you know when I find <laughs> out. Oh, please. Thank you. Box is not box. Well, it could be the box. I mean, like, like I said, I have never heard that term, how to say palco in English. Maybe it's a box. Maybe. I don't know, mm -hmm. okay. maybe VIP, I don't know, but I'll find out. <laughs> okay, okay, so yes, just, teacher, thank just, you. just pay attention to the audio, listen to the prices, the, the three different prices they mentioned and the characteristic about each price. So here we go. Okay, okay, teacher. And here we go. Exercise S39. Identifying important points in a conversation. Now listen to a conversation between two students. The tickets for the best seats in the concert hall cost $60. Oh, that's much more than I meant to pay. Don't we get a student discount for these kinds of functions? Not for a concert like this. Look, the least expensive ones are $15. Where are the $15 seats located? In the top balcony. That's too far away. We wouldn't be able to see anything on the stage. The middle balcony costs $40. Well, the $40 seats are still expensive, but I guess if we really want to enjoy the concert, we'd better get them. What do you think? I'm not sure. Balcony, is that the word? 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, it could be. Makes sense. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's, it that's makes sense. Yeah, balcony makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> what a coincidence. What a coincidence. <laughs> yes. All right. Good. So, um, what are they talking about? What is the conversation about? They want to go to a concert. Okay. Concert. Okay. And what is the discussion? The, the price. Price for what? For the tickets. Right. What is sixty dollars? What's sixty dollars? Okay, I'm going to play it once again. So they mentioned three prices: sixty, fifteen, and forty dollars. So take notes. Take notes. Here we go. Thank you. Right, where is the audio? Where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. One more time. Exercise S39. Identifying important points in a conversation. Now listen to a conversation between two students. The tickets for the best seats in the concert hall cost $60. Oh, that's much more than I meant to pay. Don't we get a student discount for these kinds of functions? Not for a concert like this. Look, the least expensive ones are $15. Where are the $15 seats located? In the top balcony. That's too far away. We wouldn't be able to see anything on the stage. The middle balcony costs $40. Well, the $40 seats are still expensive, but I guess if we really want to enjoy the concert, we'd better get them. What do you think? I'm not sure. Okay, so what is sixty dollars? Uh, teacher, I just heard um, sixty dollars for the best seats. Yes, that's the answer. The best seats, right? The best seats. Now, what is fifteen dollars? Top balcony. Yes. Top balcony. The yes. top balcony, right? Um, and what's $40? In the, in the middle. middle. Oh, in, the in middle. the middle. In the middle. Exactly. Yes. All right. So when you go to a function, when you go to a show, that's one of the things you need to consider. Like, okay, which uh, location will we get? So got to take that into account. Um, any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? Sure. Yes. We're supposed to finish the platform uh, Wednesday? Uh, Thursday. Or... Thursday. Thursday. But if I were you, I would set my mind that it's on a Wednesday. It's on Wednesday. So we finish Wednesday. classes Wednesday. Uh, however, English Corporativo needs to sell all the information, needs to send all the information to INSA for Friday morning. So uh, oh, if I were you, I would spend some time in the platform uh, tonight, tomorrow, Sunday, and get this over with so you don't have to be worrying about uh, getting your job uh, done. I'm reading the WhatsApp chat and the last part say Wednesday 16. Really? Let me check. Yes. Uh -huh. Remind you of the If not, the la medianoche del miércoles is para cumplirlo. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you okay. that you mentioned it. Yeah. So, Wednesday. So, if I were you, um, I would finish the platform uh, this week. weekend tomorrow and, 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 and Sunday. Exactly. Yes. And remember, it's the last, uh, the last mission that you have. And then we'll go on vacation like three weeks. And then we'll keep on going to the higher levels got it yes teacher yes okay. yes teacher so i want to thank you for taking the space and making the time to be present today thank you thank very you. much have a good thank night. you very thank much you. Good good night. Night. Bye, -bye. Good night. Good night. bye bye good evening everybody bye 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 bye